Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. 12 wins in a row. Last one was easy. This one, if we're following the pattern, should be tough, and it doesn't seem that bad. Black Powder, White Pony, JPNLTZCT. Okay, starting stats. Puberty is an irrelevant pill, and uh, honestly, White Pony seems like a, a really, really strong starting item. Not just for the ability to fly, that's going to open up, you know, all sorts of. Uh, unique opportunities for us like this right here um, but also for the active effect that should make it wow I walked right into the fire should make it a little easier for us to uh, take out early game bosses assuming we can actually hit them and uh, all we really need here is one bomb get the tinted rock start to feel good about our chances I would feel a little scared if I lost my half spirit heart here so give us a key give us a bomb Give us a kiss, see if you like what you miss. Doesn't really make any sense. I don't know, I was trying to come up with a weird song, but... I'm not I'm not good at coming up with weirdness. I'm not macabre. You know, I'm not Tim Burton. I'm not David Lynch. I'm more of like a David Cross, I suppose. Or, you know, like a Scott Ackerman type, maybe. If I could just get another Tinted Rock, that'd be good. But the Spirit Art is a start here. I like teasing out absurdity. But I, you know, I'm not Jared Leto's Joker or anything like that. And maybe that's a good thing, you know, it doesn't really fit. You wanna know how I got these scars? Bobby? Now, was that Bobby Boucher from The Waterboy? Bobby Hill from King of the Hill? Or perhaps, wait, was there a Tinted Rock in here as well? No. Or perhaps, um... Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston's former husband, or Millie Bobby Brown, who played uh, the role of Eleven in Stranger Things. I'm trying to think of how many Bobbies I can name. It could just be a British police officer that is otherwise, you know, relatively generic, I suppose. There's several different options. Bobby, it's not a name. It could, it could be uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Suppose there's multiple different opportunities here. Um, you don't hear Bobby as a name too much anymore. It could be Bobby's World, the show starring Howie Mandel from when I was a child. Taught kids of my generation that if you got your appendix out, you got free ice cream. Or your tonsils out, you got free ice cream. That's it. Of course I can remember what specific uh, body part Howie Mandel had removed in the television show Bobby's World. But I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. That's actually false. I have not had, <clears throat> pardon me. I've not had breakfast yet this morning, which I get as it's running counter to my own advice. My own advice, of course, was, uh, you know, if you never eat breakfast, when people tell you to eat breakfast, you, you probably go and you say, you have a knee jerk reaction, if you will. Oh, we definitely want to reroll this. You have a knee jerk reaction probably that's like, uh, well, I don't need to eat breakfast. I'm just used to not eating it, yo. Try eating breakfast, though. You will feel so much better, uh, I think. And if you don't, well, what did you lose? Maybe 15 minutes and you got a dope-ass breakfast now. All right, I think we're just going to be okay with Luckfoot. I thought we'd try to throw, like, one more chance at it, but... That was very stupid of me. Um, figure we might as well see if we can get some extra money out of the situation. It doesn't appear that that's going to be too likely. That's okay. Um, did I forget something behind here? It's like a surprisingly long floor. I'm ready for the boss fight. Now, with White Pony, we really should be uh, establishing a, a... I was going to say a perimeter. I guess you could still call the the circumference of a circle is a perimeter in some ways. But we should really be uh, using Black Powder fairly frequently to get through this. And this floor, honestly, has not gone quite as well as I would have uh, wanted it to, but... It's not, it's not bad. The luck foot is like, you know, we, we don't get huge immediate upgrades, but hopefully aggregate over the course of a run. We're going to get uh, some good stuff. I guess we're just going to try to get the, the beams of light down there. Not worry so much about putting ourselves up there where we can actually get hit by the, the haunt. Just get the beams of light to hit him. Okay, that was pretty bad. And we get more HP. Relatively poor first floor uh, from a play, like performative standpoint. Life goes on. You know, we're still alive here and we got some extra HP that we can use in the future. Uh, also, we got the compass, which is 
quite nice, and that's a terrible start for us here. We cannot go to the curse room now and still have a good deal with the devil chance. So let's stop fucking this up. I do want to check out this room. Uh, this is like the perfect room for black powder. All we gotta do is... Excuse me? I created a black powder circle there. Maybe you notice it. 4 pi r squared, you little bitch. Trying to tell me I didn't form the circumference of a black powder circle there. You think I haven't taken fourth grade geometry? That almost hit me. Uh, we had sack of pennies. At least we get sack of pennies early, but it's certainly not something I'm particularly thrilled by. But in all honesty, all we have to do in all likelihood is get to our uh, our shop, buy a spirit heart in there, and then we're safe. We could play that, but I don't want to play it just yet. Uh, I, I do want to go into the bo oh, that's good stuff. Now we'll play it. I do want to go into the boss trap room if possible, but uh, I wanted to make sure that we had like some safety first. Get enough money to maybe get something from the shop. Okay, this is actually very tempting. I'll admit, I'd like to have a full charge maybe before we do it. Let's check out our curse room. Curse room, much more underwhelming than that uh, boss trap room was. No kidding. We'll take our hit on the way out here. Um, sure, you know, I'll, I'll use four keys for this. I think one of them as, should give us a key back. And look at that. Goat head already. Live bomb. Careful with that. Petrified poop. Possibly a better trinket? I'd say possibly a better trinket, yeah. At least we got something out of the tower card and we didn't hurt ourselves. It would be cool if black powder gave you more damage the bigger the circle is. But uh, goat head is big here. I'm just saying like it's a high risk to make a big circle. as a low risk to make a small circle. It would be cool if you got like a small damage buff the bigger the circle was. But uh, Pandora's box. I don't really think that it's that necessary. Uh, I did that to myself for sure. I don't really think Pandora's box is that necessary in this situation. Mostly because I, I don't want to give up the ability to fly. Alright, we, we should be careful here. I think our ability to fly is one of the, the real strong suits of this run right now. And I would hate to see that uh, go by the wayside just to get, you know, like an HP upgrade for the next floor. Ooh, I almost got hit by that as well. Really, really poor performance so far. But items are holding us in there and consumables as well. So we get Pantagram, which is quite nice. And... I mean, I do like both of these. I think we should take both of them. And it does leave us on one spirit heart, but... The idea is that uh, we'll be able to get that spirit heart back. Or we'll be able to get more spirit hearts quickly. Uh, as a result of Dark Bomb, and we're hoping for red hearts there. Obviously that did not work out. What about, um... I think that would have found the secret room, but let's check anyway. Oh, it would not have red hearts, please. Not red hearts. Uh, also, not a guppy item. All right, well, uh, they're making it a little tougher on us. That's okay. I don't think we'll die, but if we die, we come back anyway. Or we, we could come back anyway. We probably shouldn't bank on it. And the real anxiety is going to come here if we get hit. If we go down to half a spirit heart, that's a problem. So uh, let's just stay at one full spirit heart for now. I think that's the ideal way to handle this situation. Nothing there that we can take advantage of right now, but in the future, maybe. Okay, I got pretty lucky that these guys, um... They, they did some moves that I would not have done, let's put it that way. And they, le they left me a lot of open space. There's like six champions on this room, but... They left me a lot of open space, which I'm, I'm very appreciative of. Eventually, he had just got so bored, he ended his own life. There are champions here as well, so don't get cocky. In fact, the explosions themselves might just do one full heart of damage, but we're really just waiting on, in all likelihood, the next half red heart. Should give us a good chance to get a spirit heart. And once we get that spirit heart, I kind of think we're, we're trucking. And there's the half spirit heart right there. Keep in mind we have goat heads, so, you know, more actual red hearts would be fine as well. Good stuff. Dark Bomb, come on, dude. Dude, Dark Bomb, though. Come on, dude. There we go. Got a black heart out of it. 
Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna be an idiot. I'm gonna check. And I'm gonna hope for some spirit hearts. This would make it all worthwhile. One spirit heart. And teleportation to our deal with the devil that we cannot afford right now. But would like to uh, on our deal with the devil. So I'm okay with that for now. And you know what? Why don't we take a look for magic mush quick? We got four bombs. Fair enough. Okay. On to the next room. Annoying. Hoping to get a little black powder action there, but... Didn't quite get them all, but there is a half heart. It's the benefit of champions right now. We gotta make sure that Dark Bum gets them all, basically. Gotta get them all. A heart so halved. I'm not a, a little flat on that one. Uh, five or six semitones flat on that one. That's the joke, by the way. Um, wow, what a what a shot there. This run is actually um, it's getting a little grimier than I expected. I just use grimy as a term for like, you know, I, I guess it's unclean. It's inelegant. There's a little bit of brute force happening on this run, uh, and and that's okay. The ability to fly, Dark Bomb, one-third Guppy, you know, these are pretty amazing gets in the early game. Black Powder, also good, as long as our damage, you know, is not really doing the job for us. We can, we can lean on Black Powder a little bit more, but... Feeling the burn a little bit as well. I'd really like to get some keys. To be able to get into my, uh, shop, item room, etc, etc here. Okay, sure. Thanks for the teleportation to the deal with the devil. I really appreciate it. You know, we will be able to take Rod and Baby here. The question is, do we want to uh, just continue to leave ourselves with so little HP? And I think the answer is probably yes. I think it's still sensible to do this. Um, if only we could get a red heart before we spent three spirit hearts on this. But sure, Rod and Baby. We're going to head down. We missed item room. We missed shop. But we got uh, Old Bandage and Rod and Baby. Old Bandage is pretty great. Um, we got to check, right? Old Bandage is pretty great with Dark Bum. Now this is Black Powder City. Maybe not quite as much damage as I'd like, but as long as he's still getting hit, that's music to my ears. He's about to die. Let's just make sure we get a Black Powder circle down for when uh, Mega Ma gets spawned here. People keep asking for old times sake. All right, I'll do it. Appear to be energy resources. But I've never seen anything like this on Oip. We find the energy crystals, we'll find Dr. Wowie. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to, you know, feel that I've not really lost the, the mojo for that impression. Um, it, it just fits like my mouth knows exactly what structure to take in order to make that work. Finally, we get one key. Now, we'll probably use this for the shop. If we fight greed, we fight greed. Now we got two we will use for item room and shop. And, um... Rotten Baby is a huge help here. Allowing us to hit enemies like these guys, even when we're not in a good position to do so otherwise. So, shop. Uh, we'll take more options, and I think we'll take theirs options. That's very nice. We're still early enough to get value out of this, I think. Um, we'll start with Obsessed Fan over Curse of the Tower, because Curse of the Tower is actually just bad most of the time. Uh, let's open this. and I was hoping for a key, but that's alright. Real uh, key shortage on this run. That's okay. Real red heart shortage recently as well, weirdly enough, but... We're back on schedule roughly for boss rush. We might not quite be able to make it, but... You know, we'll, we'll see. Boss rush is secondary to just getting the win here. And this run certainly leaves a little bit to be desired as compared to the last run. Now, honestly, you know, we do have keys now. We could maybe open some golden chests or something like that, but... I think that that's secondary to uh, just making sure that we're okay. You know, and part of being okay is being able to open the shop on the next floor, being able to open the item room on the next floor as well. So, let's just cool it for now, and the keys are dropping like crazy, but... Rather than opening a bunch of golden chests, I think the peace of mind is nice. Especially considering that we actually did skip an item room and a shop on this uh, run, just because of key bereftness, so... For now, let's just uh, be slightly more sensible about it. Tough situation in which to try to get uh, black powder working, but actually worked to great effect there. Now we're getting a key every room, and uh, I can't help but feel that this is a little... The game's rubbing it in. It's like, hey, remember, you know, it's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. 
It's like meeting the man of your dreams. And then meeting his beautiful wife, Alanis Morissette. Did you know she's Canadian? Isn't that ironic? Not at all. It's in, in, in fact, if anything, it's endemic to our incredible music production industry up here. We'll take the tiers up, even with the shot speed down. That comes with blue cap. Um, we have to take two of these. I think you take, uh, well, we could take more than two, but I think you take Guppy's Hairball for the Guppy transformation and Spirit of the Night, and then do not take the other one, even though it would give you some HP. We got five keys now. We also have the luxury of being able to get rid of uh, White Pony if we're so inclined. Your honey, let's do it. Get rid of White Pony. I saw, I mean, let me put it this way, I'm not trying to be insulting. You're not a genius if you figured out how to open that chest without getting hit. I am just a moron. Uh, we're gonna head down to the next floor. Triple A battery is better. I mean, White Pony's active effect is pretty good, and the charge time on it is limited. So, it's nice for us to be able to uh, get it charged a little bit more frequently. Gotta check these, because, you know, we're... Oh, Jesus. We're uh, only one item at this point away from becoming Guppy. So every red chest could contain the Fountain of Youth here. More keys is great. I, I stand by our deal with the Devil decisions. I think we, we did the right call there. We made the right decision. I would like to get some more red hard drops, but you can't always get what you want. Sloth, eh, it might not have been worth it, but I still think we go for it. Now... What do you prefer, White Pony every five rooms or Bob's Brain every two rooms? Uh, almost certainly White Pony every five rooms. It also gives us basically a speed upgrade just for holding the item. It makes our maneuverability easier at least. So uh, we'll take that to get to the Bob transformation as if we care and then move along here. So remember, there's options, more options. Got a good way to tailor this run and we may lean towards HP. There we go. Honestly, Dark Bum could have fucked us. If it had paid out more than once with like not great items, or not, not a consumable, what I mean is not a spirit heart. If it paid out with enemy spiders or friendly spiders, that would have been real bad. Instead, it's very consistently paying out with exactly what we need, so I'm quite thankful for that. Bit of a waste on this room to use uh, White Pony, unfortunately. And Rotten Baby's not amazing at uh, hitting enemies that only have, you know, a small weak spot, but I still stand by our deal with the Devil Chance, and I'm thinking this run is starting to pop off, but it's it's doing so in a in a slow fashion. But I appreciate the bombs and keys for once. <sighs> Definitely piercing shots plus the speed upgrade over Virgo, but it's a tough choice, and Virgo is actually uh, pretty good in its own right. We'll also take a Spirit Hearts. Uh, this appears to be a dead end, sadly. Got a Devil card. All right, well let's uh, move along down here. That feels like a secret room to me. If we can't get to boss rush, it's it's semi irrelevant, right? Like it's not the end of the world either way. We will, and and this is unique to this run and, and runs of this type, but we will have to choose when to stop doing deals with the devil because the game is not going to limit us. The game is just going to say, you know, we got all the deals with the devil you could possibly want. It's why so many, you know, wealthy people, actors, actresses, um, etc. They have a problem um, that, that goes unspoken, and I think we all know what I'm talking about, and that's buying Magic the Gathering cards. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, well, I can only afford four booster packs. But then, you know, maybe you land a sweet sponsorship deal, and you're like, well, I can afford, like, a lot of booster packs. And nobody's there to tell you no. Nobody's there to tell you this addiction could kill you. And it's sad. It, I wouldn't, I'm not speaking from first-hand experience, but it's very sad. It's very sad indeed. Oh, the Fallen is actually good here. And, and good almost always, but not having to pay for a deal with the devil is awesome. This is like getting booster packs for free. Now that's the dream. Uh, we don't need flying, so we'll take a little brim. Easy decision. And Satanic Bible, I think, is justifiable in this case. Um, and, and extremely good for us in this case. Now we are quite slow now, so we've got to be careful about that. But we'll head down to the next floor. Boss Rush, maybe not. But uh, Satanic Bible plus all of our passive abilities to fly seems great. Uh, not that interested in that. Oh, he's got a homing beacon. It's all right. We got a black card. Uh, okay, let's go this way. We should try to use a little brim. You know, one one thing that is lacking on this run is our own damage. It's it's okay. 
It's not, you know, the worst I've ever seen, but it's not great either. Also, it would be lovely to donate as much as possible. We're in a good situation for uh, donations. And if we can't get the boss rush, at least we can give back. You know, at least we can... Oh, that was so bad. I thought I threaded the needle there. But at least we can say, you know what? We've given, uh, we've given our all. We've given back to charity. Feels good after all those Magic the Gathering booster packs. Just talking to hypotheticals again. Um... Not only my favorite year. Oh, but also an important moment for us. Wow! Um, I didn't expect us to get a full charge there. But maybe that's due to my ignorance of how this item actually works. We do have so many skulls. And I'm not talking about the 1998 film starring Joshua Jackson. That I'm hopeful we can get a teleport card in here. And maybe finance our dream. I think the Devil's probably better than the High Priestess. Rules card, two of spades. We'll pop two of spades. Uh, it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be too close. And every second does count, so that was a bit of a waste. Uh, Explosivo is a no-brainer. Just try this, see if we get lucky. Did not get lucky unless, you know, by lucky you mean bad luck. I suppose that makes sense. Let's donate as much money as we can. We also just got Sackboy. Okay, let's not blow up our donation machine. We also just got Steam Sale. I would rather donate than go to Boss Rush on this run. And of course, you know, when I say that, I'm lying to you, but at the same time, um, we're going to uh, try to make the best of it, you know? We got a lot of HP now. Wow, we got like a lot, a lot of HP now. And we got to donate a lot. Um, this, and Sackboy is basically a run winning item by itself. So we, we have effectively just won the run. Chub dislikes smoke. Deny his gifts to attain your reward. Oh, you're getting into some weird, you know, kinky stuff that I'm not sure I want to be privy to, honestly. I mean, I am like a slave to the game, but not in that fashion. Okay, Sackboy. I was going to say, here's our teleportation card. Nope, just the chariot. I think you just keep the devil. We may want to do uh, Hush, but it'll be on a case-by-case -case basis. If we can, and, and but, I mean, what do you say, case by case basis, if it's just one case? We'll do it on a case basis? Doesn't really make any sense. It sounds like someone fudged up their VO line. But either way, 21 minutes in here, just a little bit short of boss rush. I think that's pretty impressive considering how the run went down. We get the Polaroid, we'll definitely take Sack Dagger. Don't have any interest whatsoever in getting um, Brother Bobby. And no uh, no curses here. But we do need to definitely pay close attention to our special rooms. Because again, we're so close to becoming Guppy. And if we become Guppy, this run is not only a win, but it's a fun win as well. And that's important, you know? When you're playing a video game, sometimes I think it can be a good thing if you uh, have fun while playing it. I'm, I've got a pretty low barrier to entry for fun. I have fun doing lots of things, you know? Taking an escalator. That can be fun. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, staircases, sometimes. Really, mostly just things that are involved with going up or down uh, some floors. Um, in, in a building, usually. Elevators, uh, not really. Elevators, as, as a kid, a little frightened about the elevators. And it's a, it's a ridiculous... Phobia, because elevators are, you know, extremely safe relative to cars and stuff like that. But it's just because in a car, rarely does somebody go, Hey, check this out, this will be fun. And then they just steer into the oncoming lane for like a second to fuck with you, right? If you did, you'd be like, I'm not getting in the car with you ever again. And they'd be like, why are you being such a bitch? And you'd be like, no, you're a moron. Um, but in elevators, some people find it very fun to just jump up and down and try to get the elevator stuck. I don't understand it. Maybe if they're lacking a thrill in their life. Maybe they should take more escalators. You know, I find those reasonably thrilling. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. I don't understand the reasoning behind it, but a lot of people do it. I think maybe that happened to me as a child, and then that left me a little scarred. But I'm, I'm not... Um, I, I've gotten over it. I'm not afraid of elevators uh, anymore. But probably until I was like 10. I was like, if we stay in a hotel, we bet... I don't care if we're on the 20th floor. I'm taking the stairs up. Because I would hate to be inconvenienced by being stuck in an elevator for 10 seconds. But now, you know, we live on the 500th floor. And, um, 
I take my space elevator up to it every single day, and it's just, uh, it's nice. Just had a really horrifying moment. Um, felt like a little cold breeze behind me and saw a shadow on the ground. My door is closed in this tiny office. It's not plausible to sneak up on me. Um, no cat is in the room. Uh, I guess I'm being haunted by some sort of mercurial ghost. I'd like to say, you know, to the ghost, whoever harmed you, uh, I, I will try to absolve you of the otherworldly ethereal guilt that you feel and allow you to pass on to the other side of the afterlife um, peacefully uh, so you can live in eternity in, in tranquility or whatever. But, like, can you fuck off for a minute? Like, I'm working right now. Like, seriously, dude. We gotta get the ghost hunters here. So they can take out their electromagnetic speakers and see what the ghost is telling me to fart off as well. Are we on... This is Womb 1. Womb 1, okay. So we're gonna fight Conquest. This is strange, because we've already had the White Pony. But, uh, I think the White Pony will just show up again. So we got another chance, uh... To take it, if we want it. I mean, it's still... I, I miss the speed from it. But... It's more sensible for us to not... To not take it, and instead roll with the Satanic Bible, for sure. Uh, and we might as well take meat, and then hope that we can trade it away in here. Even if we can't, you know, we can also just hold it for a while. It just ruins permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is a, a bit of a nerf to Sack Dagger, but we have one more uh, deal with the devil anyway, so... Now, the deal with the devil, it, it's very true, the deal with the devil may contain nothing. You know, it might not give us an ability to trade, but that's fine as well. Life goes on. Alright, we can still check out this. Uh, we'll definitely check out our curse room. Just looking for red chests at this point. Or just a pedestal with a guppy item would also be acceptable. Okay, well... <laughs> sometimes, uh, you don't know what you got until it's gone. They pay paradise and put up a cat transformation. His original Joni Mitchell, uh, text there. Uh, I think we should do the hush fight now, honestly. We got 42 cents, you know, a steam sale and 25 keys. Being guppy's gonna make this pretty easy. You know, Sack Boy. I'd really like, um, Dark Bomb is really good as well here, but, uh, I'd really like, uh, Head of the Keeper, just so we could get, we could generate a lot of sacks, thanks to Sack Boy making some of the pennies into, into sacks, and then, you know, those sacks could have battery charges, which would guarantee our survival on the Hush Fight, or, you know, they could have Red Hearts, which would generate Spirit Hearts, which would guarantee our survival on the Hush Fight. Like, we have a couple of different avenues, um, to generate HP on the hush fight, that makes it very unlikely that we'll we'll just die like an idiot. So, that's that's really good news. And you know, you, you gotta say that you're happy with the run when you can regularly take idiotic damage like that and still feel pretty good about the way things are going. Like I performance-wise, I think this has been a a pretty horrible run. I don't think I've played very well at all. Uh, I haven't played bad enough to lose. I guess that would be truly terrible, but. I certainly, like, this is is far from my finest work as far as dodging goes. Oh, that was Explosivo. So that one is, like, completely my bad. Uh, I think we can take both and be at full age. God damn it. Every time. Well, that's a real bummer. That being said, a Thame is still quite good, but obvious. Oh my god, and I didn't fight Hush. Oh, good decision. I mean, in the end, it's actually... It makes my life easier, but, um, that's, that's humankind in general right there. Make one mistake, get mad about that mistake, double down, make another mistake. Well, at least I'll have enough time to eat lunch before the NLSS. <laughs> now that I, sometimes I, I do find myself in the decision-making process, should I eat lunch or should I fight Hush? Um, most of the time, I'm, you know, most of the time I split it about 50-50, I suppose. I'm not going to say I fight Hush most of the time, but... And that's, that's not the game's fault, by the way. If I just started recording, you know, 15 minutes earlier, we wouldn't have to make that decision. Or if I stopped eating a, a full-cooked beef wellington for every lunch. But, you know, <laughs> as is the style on the continent. Uh, we got the devil, we got high priestess. I'm still gonna keep the devil card. I will say, little bummed that uh, I'm still using sack dagger. You might say, well, then why don't you stop using Sack Dagger, you moron? Well, because its damage is so good, though, that it really is like... I feel like 
you graduate to orbital usage. Especially when we've got this much HP. The orbital doesn't feel like it's, it's holding us back. Good God. Lovers? Tower? I mean, there's no reason to use the Lovers card at full HP. There's no reason not to. We'll just stick with the Devil card for now. Four Golden Chests. I think we would be silly to not do this. And there we go. It's already paid for itself, uh, itself in the form of Steven there. Paid for itself in the form of do 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 Stephen King Crimson from the Children of Men soundtrack, but also 1972. Okay, well, we'll definitely Joker it up here. Yeah. Okay, Incubus is awesome, and I'm not talking about the item. I'm talking about the early 2000s band of the same name. Strength. Another Joker card. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's um, let's take the Joker down to the next floor. It means that we never used our Devil card, but uh, you know, peace of mind or something like that. I'm still happy to, to have another Joker card, and we've certainly got the HP to be able to use it effectively. And I'm now like very much of the opinion that we are doing the right thing by using Sack Dagger. Uh, sure. Let's Lucky Toe. We do have Lucky Foot as well. They should have synergies and, you know, become lucky Quentin Tarantino's favorite JPEG or something like that. That was, that was mining some pretty, you know, base stuff for humor there. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. All right. Let's just wedge ourselves in here. Want to get out before the Explosivo shots start to pop off. If anything, we should maybe do less damage to them before Explosivo shots go off so that they can actually last longer. But I guess we there's no way that we can actually guarantee that. So let's head down. It's going to be a win. Win 13. Like roughly one third of the way to where our streak previously was. It's a start at least. I don't know. We may go shoot the whoop here. We're probably not going to need Satanic Bible. And I could use the damage. Anti-grav, shielded tears. You know, there's some decent stuff going on there. Uh, empty vessel. Why not? You know, if, if it gives us occasional invincibility, that's going to be good. Really good with Sack Dagger, actually. So, I think we, we have not struck out with items here. It's not truly incredible, but it's not bad either. Um... I forgot Empty Vessel also totally gives us Spirit Hearts. I always forget. Simvicta was telling me that Empty Vessel was like... He didn't realize that it actually gave you the ability to fly if you're out of Red Hearts. For him, it was all about the occasional invincibility. Uh, and the fact that it gave you Spirit Hearts. It's interesting, like, how good this item is. In spite of the fact that both he and I, you know, pretty experienced Isaac players. Capable of getting double-digit streaks. No offense, Mathis. Um... We, we had both kind of misjudged it. We don't really need Blood Rites. Even just like one of its uh, abilities taken in a vacuum is, is pretty strong. And, you know, if, if we ever find ourselves in HP-related concerns here, I'll go and I'll pick up the sacks and, you know, we'll get battery charges and we'll get Satanic Bible to work with them. But for now, I'm enjoying taking some time and flying by the seat of our pants. Dead Eye, pretty great. I don't know if we're going to be able to consistently get it charged up here with anti-grav shielded tears, etc, etc. But, you know, even the occasional hit is going to be pretty good. It's a damage upgrade, you know, no matter how you slice it. Fighting a lot of horsemen here. Polyphemus, also pretty good. Um, since we have piercing shots, shielded tears of Polyphemus are going to be very good for us here. Daddy long legs, also great. Faja, can you hear me? No chest? No chest. Alright. If we don't get a chest, it's hard to get me excited about what's going on in a room in this day and age. Because uh, we're pretty much killing it from a damage perspective. So, I think that uh, I feel relatively confident we probably got the wind sewn up here. And we worked for this. I mean, we also worked against ourselves at times. Took a lot of damage we should not have taken. But, uh... Life goes on. No, you don't understand. Actually, I was just going to use Nod, Leaf, and Sack Dagger, but I guess our flies did the dirty work for us. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will 
See you next time.